Let's wander over to see what happened to feeder cattle. Let's, uh, we've got some big traders out there, speculators, thinking that, hey, maybe this, the, uh, the protein side of the, of the equation might do better. Well, it hasn't, right? We had a, a big fire. We've all heard about that. That's old news now. Um, but it's going to be closed indefinitely. Um, we've got a lot of guys on the wrong side of the, the boat here. Like I, I've been talking about in, in corn, you can see how violent these moves are because it means that a lot of folks had something on the wrong way. Now, to give you a good visual about how we're going to have to deal with this, it's just kind of like a bowling ball going through a snake. It's slowly but surely is going to work its way through the system. One part of it is going to be bigger than everything else. We'll have to deal with that. That's going to be an operational logistics thing. And it will definitely be in our rearview mirror. And we're only talking, to say, about 6% of the beef. But the reaction has been pretty swift and, and, and very dramatic. The, 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 it's an indefinite shutdown of this plant and it's really shifted say uh, the, a lot of the leverage from the feedlot to, to the freezer so that's going to be something we're going to keep an eye on um, I, I the packers are, are going to be the ones that have the leverage so it's going to be again in our rear view uh, but it's going to be interesting to see how these things kind of play out so i, I just want to stress that uh, again that bowling ball going through that snake is something that we're going to have to keep an eye on uh, but it's something that will also ultimately at some point in time uh, go away. So we've seen uh, a decent sell-off. Um, that's something that we had a little bit of a rebound today, uh, but that rebound was short-lived and we've started to melt away again as we've come <clears throat> towards the afternoon. So that also still tells us that folks are still taking advantage of some sort of bounces because they were on that wrong side, surprisingly so, on that wrong side of that boat uh, when that news came out. And that's why we're seeing such a violent reaction. So keep an eye. We need to kind of see some capitulation. We're kind of getting there, I think. Uh, but this last sell-off uh, tonight or this afternoon makes me think that we still have some more to go. And once we start to slowly but surely carve out a bottom, then I think it'll be a little bit safer to get your toes back in the water, but you're still going to have to worry about that bowling ball going through that snake. Good luck.